and gentlemen, how's it going? No, I'm not getting off, just now getting off work. I got off work around, uh, oh, five o'clock. But I had a uh, training today, so I just got done with training. Just the annual wildland refresher. Ah, uh, yes. So we are officially in that time of season now, I feel like, you know. One of the guys that uh, I'm in an apartment with is like, dang, your truck sounds really good. <laughs> like, hey, <laughs> thanks. Um, but yeah, um, Wildland Refresher, all done. So it's that time of the year, you know, just the same old videos I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure everyone else watches. You know, you got your watch out situations and um, everything else, so. It's all it's all fun. So we're all ready. We're all looks like we got another new guy coming and join on. So good for him. Definitely need to beat more people. Never hurts to have uh, more, especially in our department. Um, it it's good. And if you if it's something you really uh, do get into, you go a long way in the career for it. Um, still working on working on my firefighter one. No, I just finished my firefighter one. So whatever is it? I think it's engine boss, something like that. It's my next task book I gotta work on. Oh yeah. Yeah. So now it's time to go home. You know, make some dinner and relax and see you. <laughs> what else I could do tonight because you know, I got I got literally got no plans tonight. Um Yeah, I don't know how well you can see, but outside you know our district is nothing but uh green farmland. There's a whole not a lot to burn around here. You have to go either on the other side of the highway which I drove on uh, last week when I took my son. You guys might have seen a little bit of it, but, and just on the other side of the river in the bluffs and there, the bluffs that we have. Um, that's where we see most of our dramatic fires and we only get maybe like a handful a year. Um, not a whole lot. Fires, all the fires I we usually typically go on is uh, mutual aid with uh, Surrounding districts. Auto sensing rights. <laughs> Jeez, I didn't know that. I flipped them on and then come on. So I'm, I'm just curious if they have auto sensing rights on, which is very interesting. That's something I did not know about the truck. I just want to see what they look like, but I know, and it's not like dark, dark right now, so. They are auto sensitive rights. That's fucking amazing. No, no clue. That's something I did not know. And I just got darker <laughs> in the cab because you know I'm not facing the sun no more. Oh. But yeah, um, definitely gonna try to make more content uh, for the fire season. I finally figured out the GoPro situation. As you guys can tell now with my uploading videos, I just gotta because I was. me that um, like if another person's running a radar detector in her car it might pick it up too so that could be the case as well why I keep picking up signals um, I was saying um, not the detector with a fire season dude you almost on the fucking road Jesus Oh yeah, uh, had no 
knew this thing had a friggin' uh, automatic uh, brights on it. And like now they won't even, they won't come on, but when it gets darker, you know they'll they'll come on. They don't seem to. Well, I'm not even gonna try letting them make something and flashing them for no reason. Uh oh yeah, and yeah, so we have a very small area that we cover, and we most of our fires are uh, mutual aid. Sometimes they're just uh, basic haystack fires. Either we had uh, like three or four last year. Um, I know surrounding districts in our area, um, we would get a lot within the next day or so. Um, so we would suspect arson, but we can, you can, it's very hard to prove arson in those haystack fires. You literally had to have someone see a person do it and er, um, everything so it's very um, God, I'm freaking hungry this is my train of thought um, but we had a few of those last year and I just can't wait wait to actually get that's what I was talking about before I got all sidetracked and my GoPro because I was using everything on a laptop and just uh, not a lot of uh, um, storage I could post videos on it so and as before I actually came familiar with like everything so now I, I think I'm definitely getting a lot better definitely getting a lot better with the, the edit bar and stuff like that you know not as um, sound as some of these other people that can like mix and match you know videos and stuff like that I'm working on it. I'll get there eventually. It's just going to take me a lot of work. It's not something that I'm too interested in doing right now. Just because I do have a full-time job. You know, YouTube is something that I just do on the side just for the fun. Um, and everything. So, I mean, if I, if I get, you know, a couple hundred of subscribers, I'll probably take it a little bit more seriously. Right now, I'm at, I believe, at 57, 58 subscribers as of right now so you know if I do get the attention then yeah I'll I'll definitely put in the effort for the audience but you know even though I should probably just start putting in the effort right away but it, it is hard when you you know work eight ten hours a day it just depends on you know how many stops I have and then like today you know I had training and if I could definitely find a buddy that, you know, that's really good at editing videos and they can do this stuff for me, then I go, heck yeah, dude. Here, I'll send you the video. Here's the file. Have at it. You know, do what you got to do. Then eventually, I, like, if ain't big enough, I would, definitely, I would <laughs> definitely pay you to do it for sure. Because that's one thing I would definitely love to do. go through one of these days when we get I get my all my fire file and stuff together just go over the basic stuff that I take with me um, I don't know if I'm gonna put together a go bag just because I really can't spend the time going on state mobilizations this year as I did <clears throat> did last year you know because Last year I was playing up in Florida, so I quit my job, was getting ready to move forward and decided and I just took the summer off to fight fires. Now I don't have that luxury no more. So it's gonna be harder to go on those fires, so I don't know. I might set up like a bag just for like a day, day say like because I know I don't work Fridays or Saturdays. So if I like hey, 
big fire, you know, it might be gone for a day or two. Like, okay, do something like that, but, you know, we'll see what happens, you know. I might, I might just get like a day's worth of clothes all situated and packed up. Yeah, that is very interesting. I had no idea that, I don't even think I've ever ran my brights. Let's see how well they, yep. Huh, and there's another car coming up. Let's see how, when they shut off. Oh, to shut off, yeah, that's probably about uh, four, three, four, five hundred feet, I would say. And shut off. That is cool. I'm gonna turn on because I, I honestly hate automatic brights because, you know, uh, especially when it gets darker it, when the sometimes when the light reflects off a sign it just shuts them off and it goes on and off on and off at least that's, that's what it does on my uh, mom's uh, Mazda that she has that I sold her <laughs> um, but with that you have the option of turning it off I don't know if you have the option on here I, I, de I would have to go play through the settings a little bit more and you know turn that off but that's something new that I didn't know the TRX had I don't know if anyone knew. I ne I've never seen videos on it. I've never seen um, anything in the forums on it either. So that's pretty interesting to me. Huh. I don't even think that was like even brought up to me when I was buying or ordering the truck about automatic rights. Maybe I'm just an idiot and didn't pay attention. <laughs> that could be a very good possibility too. Who knows? Oh, boy. Oh. Yeah, I was gonna do a different video, but then I decided against it. I was like, uh, I'll just do one with uh, coming home from training. But I'll do it, uh, the video I was planning on doing uh, today, tomorrow. Yeah, it'll probably be a little bit of a spicier topic that's for sure about what's going on um with is, i don't know oh I'll, I'll think about it but one thing i will say it is uh kind of crazy now how gas all of a sudden is starting to go down now when uh president biden um is opening up our fuel reserves like gee it's almost like if we were you know to make our make and produce our own uh, gas that here in America that gas prices would stay down huh. it's almost like you know Russia didn't uh, <laughs> didn't cause our gas prices when they invaded Ukraine oh it is so weird gee it's amazing what we could do with our own stability that we have in our in our economy you know it's so weird you know but Hey, what am I? Just a, not, just another conspiracy theorist over here. I don't know where my tinfoil hat's at. I think I left it at home. I'll go wear that at night when I go to bed. You know, to make sure the aliens don't get me. You know, read my read my thoughts. You know, don't make sure I wear my uh, steel underwear <laughs> so they can't probe me in the middle of the night. Oh God. Oh yeah, it's it's a late night. It's a late night. Not really. It's only eight o'clock. But anyways, guys, I'm going to enjoy the uh, rest of my night. I'm going to crank up the music, just jam out. Um, I'll upload this video shortly. So you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. Happy Taco Tuesday as well. And I will see you guys later. Peace.